Welcome to Heat alongside Jonathan Coachman. I'm Todd Grisham. We're just hours away from Backlash. And what an awesome event it's shaping up to be. The following non-title contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from New Orleans, Louisiana, Jazz. Everyone is getting fired up for Backlash, and how can you not be excited with a lineup that is loaded from top to bottom? But actually, my partner here may not be getting that excited. After all, Jonathan Coachman will take on Tajiri. What are you gonna do? No, don't worry about the coach. I have Tajiri taken care of, but there's a lot of other guys that better be ready. Come Edmonton, come Backlash. It's gonna be a big, big night. Absolute powerhouse and already displaying her strength here as she faces Victoria and throws her head right to the mat. So backlash, Jonathan Coachman to Jerry. And I must admit, sitting next to you, you look tough. The glasses, the hat, the muscles. You look like you can beat somebody up, but I don't know if you can beat up to Jerry. Well, I'm going to give you a little insight on what I've been doing to prepare myself, if you don't know. I've been practicing. Wow. Wow, that's right. Well, I've been working out with Jazz and practicing my Japanese wrestling moves. So Tajiri's not going to have anything that the coach is not prepared for. Tajiri has done it all, coach. I've done some research on Tajiri. He was a former WWE Tag Champion, former Cruiserweight Champion, a former ECW Champion. He could go hardcore on you, coach. Yeah, but I'm three and three, kid. That's right, you are. Oh, Victoria. Oh, my goodness. What a shot. Chad's got the better of that, but Victoria certainly looked good doing it. <laughs> you know, sometimes that's just more important. Oh, and a tough suplex by Jazz, showing her strength, going for the early win, and gets a two count. You talk about flexible. If I wasn't in love with Victoria before, I am now. And Jazz, for that matter. They could both come over to the house. Don't even worry about it, kid. Victoria is certainly one of the more attractive women's champions. We'll have a little swirl, if you know oh. what I'm talking about. A big clothesline by Jazz, and Victoria's in trouble here. Remember, this is a non-title match, but the more that Jazz beats Victoria up, the less Victoria's going to have for the women's championship match at Backlash against Lita. And think about the mental disadvantage if Jazz can beat Victoria here. What kind of, of confidence would Victoria have heading into face Lita at Backlash? Oh, and Jazz takes Victoria down hard. <laughs> what? What? I'm, just, I'm just in a good mood. I'm just in a good mood. That's all, kid. And so far, this has been all Jazz and Victoria looking. Well, she looks, looks great, in trouble. She, she looks getting, great, but she, she looks in trouble down. in this match. Jazz with a straight left hand, blowing her knuckles, and Victoria escapes there and delivers a right hand of her own and another. And finally, Victoria able to turn the table into the turnbuckle. And Jazz, a straight right hand, and 
gets the upper hand again. See, that's the kind of thing you're not going to see the coach do at backlash. They'll need, there'll be no telegraphing of moves. They'll need, there'll be no step behind the action. I will be right on top of it from start to finish. What is your strategy going to be? And I'm predicting, what is your strategy? And I am predicting a coach victory. Oh, come on. Forget about it. You honestly think you can win. Does the term walk in the park mean anything to you? And look at this. Victoria. Wow. Sky high and face down in the mat. And it appears Victoria may have gotten more than she bargained for against Jazz as she flexes her muscles to this crowd. And that may be a waste of time here for her. You know, if you don't mind, I think I'll go down to the ring right now and congratulate Jazz and console Victoria. Well, this certainly isn't over. You don't become women's champion by giving up, and Victoria's still fighting. Does anybody wear better outfits than Victoria? No. It's hard for me to concentrate on how great of a women's champion she is. Oh, here's the SDF. Another. Oh, no. Put a fork in it, kid. Victoria in real trouble here. The submission move she may be giving up. Victoria in the middle of the ring, nowhere near those ropes. I don't think I've ever seen a women's champion be dominated like Victoria's been dominated this week here on Heat. Oh, she wants that rope. If she can just get there, Jazz will have to let go. But it's a long crawl for the women's champion. You know, my back has been in the position the mat is in right now, where she's just clawing and clawing. Give me a break. Victoria reaching. Can she get there? She can. And what determination yeah, Victoria has. But the point is that the beating has been done. The damage has been done. Victoria has absolutely nothing left. We'll see if Victoria can come back here. She's been down, but not quite out. And Jazz, once again, showing up her muscles to the crowd. And Victoria with a drop toe hold sends Jazz into the bottom rope. I hate to say that Jazz made a mistake, but I think Jazz made a mistake. Victoria trying to take advantage. Let's see if she can do it. Victoria into the turnbuckle, up, and what will she do here? Showing off her athleticism is Victoria, going over the top rope, trying to get the sunset flip, gets her down, for the pin, two, and Victoria it can't couldn't be do it. that easy, it just can't be that easy, kid. Come on. Victoria with another clothesline. You know better than that, you've been here all three weeks and you know better than that. Well, certainly Victoria now showing her stuff. Oh, backflip! Right on top of Jazz! Will this do it? No! No! So close! Both of these women refuse to give up. Victoria now. Oh, a jawbreaker there by Jazz on Victoria. I like jawbreakers. They were one of my favorite candies back in the third grade. Could you stay focused for a minute? I'm focused. I'm watching. I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying Jazz just getting the beat down of a lifetime on the women's chance. So strong, so flexible. But Jazz in real trouble now. Victoria. Oh boy, setting up something big here. Jazz on top. Oh, look out. No! The Widow's Peak. You are kidding me. The Widow's Peak. No way Jazz gets up now. And it's over. What a win for Victoria. It may be a blessing in disguise for Victoria to have to work so hard for it to be so difficult for her here this week on Heat. Well, it'll be interesting to see how much energy Jazz took out of Victoria in this match. It certainly appeared to take a toll. Victoria had a lot of trouble, let's be honest. You know, it's going to be interesting to see how much energy I take out of Victoria a little bit later on.